artista sin hacer arte es como si tú como ser humano no estás produciendo, no estás generando, te sientes como si no estás haciendo mucho aunque estés trabajando en, en un full time job. El, el simple hecho de estar produciendo, de estar creando hace que, que me sienta mmm, contenta, me sienta feliz, me sienta satisfecha, plena. So I decided to do art because I think it's a way or a form to express something. In, me in, in Mexico, I don't have an statistic, but most of the women, or probably half of the women in families have no voice. And most of the times they're just, okay, you te vas a casar y vas a ser ama de casa, o vas a tener tu pari pari marido, etc. And like, I knew that I was different since I was younger. And that's why I decided to come to America, because I was going to have more freedom, somehow more freedom, that in a way, it was a struggle, but I think that made me the person that I am right now, like strong and independent. Uh, something that I remember that uh, this professor told me is like, are you objectifying your uh, subjects or are you humanizing your, your subjects? And it just, you know, bring me a lot of questions regarding like, okay, these people are being there just to be exposed or humanize them or to honor them. And I was my work can be political, but in a, in a way it's more um, civil, more like giving, giving the, the, the position or giving the space to somebody to be them themselves. I think it's more social than political. Yes, through all this work, you see in a story about me, uh, some of my, uh, it's a biography. Like if you see uh, that Tubero, this person I was selling in the streets and I, I, I was also a street, a street vendor. When I moved to LA, I was selling fruit in the streets and I know what it feels to be out there in the sun and not have a place to go to the restroom or used to like get a, uh, clients or customers to purchase something from you so you can make it either for rent or for food and that that's what I'm, I'm, I'm doing street vendors uh, so this piece you see right here um, it's also dedicated to my mom and it's a representation of when we were younger when uh, when I was in Mexico we had a little restaurant but we were making food on the street the people will be sitting inside and we will be in the street. And my mom will be cooking, my brother David and me, we will, or my dad sometimes. But this is, it says right here that is dedicated to my mom because it represents a little part of my life, like probably uh, five years of my life selling food in the streets. I started doing this artwork that talks about um, street vendors and also restaurants that were established in, in Los Angeles as a representation of Los Angeles and also as a, as a um, Im image, as an image of Los Angeles. And I started with in and out it brought so much audience and I thought, you know, I will gonna continue with this. I'm seeing that this is commercial, but at the same time people see the beauty in it and see the, his the story behind. Then I did Randy's because I live very close to Randy's in Inglewood. It's very iconic, and then I did Trejos. Uh, actually, Trejos piece sold, and then somebody asked me to do it again, and I did it another painting, similar but no like super, 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 super similar to the first one. So they everybody has a, 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 a one version of it. When I got the DM from you guys, I was like, oh yes, it's another gallery that always tells me that they're gonna come and this and that. And I was like, all right, perfect. I'm not gonna put my hopes in there because I don't want to, you know, get illusionated, illusionada. And I was like, perfect. And then you, you call me, I'm like, wow, that's cool, you know? And when we ended up, ended up, I ended up going to your, your gallery, I was like, okay, this is happening. There is a lot of like potential with a lot of Hispanic artists, immigrant artists that haven't given the opportunity because they don't have that connection. There is so much uh, 
talented people out there that are still in the shadows. Yeah. Everybody follows somebody that already, you know, was already represented or was already shown in a piece, in a, in a, in a gallery. And I think everybody needs that person to bring them, bring them up, you know? And I'm very excited, I'm very happy, I'm, I feel very blessed. And I've been praying for this for a long time. Thank you, because I'm here, you know, making this video. <laughs> Una chela, mira, no más.